Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum class. I'm your English teacher Zia. I welcome you to English grade 6 video lessons. Now my dear learners, we are on unit number 5 and the title is Arrogance leads to loss of friends. In this lesson, we address the theme about peaceful coexistence and peace education and our sub theme is on friendship and cooperation. So the whole lesson is made up of these, uh, this theme and sub theme. Now, this is our lecture number one from unit number five. And today's topic extracted from our student learning outcome, which we will see later on, it is about model verbs. And we are dealing with the competency of grammar, as you can see over here. So uh, we very well uh, know about the parts of speech and we know that verb what verb is and how does it function now let's move on to read our students learning outcome to see what we are supposed to do in this video lesson so our students learning outcome or slo says recognize and demonstrate function and use of model verbs and they are can or cannot may or may not and should shall will could might etc to express ability, inability, permission, offers, invitations, requests, prohibition, doubt, uh, obliga uh, obligation, etc. In affirmative, negative and interrogative sentences. So, in this student's learning outcome, we have a type of verb which is model verb and all these that are mentioned will be addressed in the video lesson along with all these different expressions and purposes of using these model verbs and we can use them in both our positive affirmative and our negative and interrogative sentences now let's look at our vertical linkage which links our slo with the previous grades students learning outcome on the same kind of topic moving on with our brainstorming session for today you have to answer this question, think over it. What do you say when you want to seek or ask permission? Now, there are different ways of doing this. So what are the manners and the words that you use when you are someone who wants permission or you are asking for something to do? Think about it. Think about the words, note them down and then discuss with your fellows. Moving on to our topic which is about model verbs. Let's look at what is a model verb first and then we can deal with different model verbs in the next slides. So a model verb is a type of auxiliary verb which means it is also a kind of a helping verb which expresses the mood of another verb. The mood is very much important and it is expressed by using our model verb. Now, they are used to express ideas such as something is certain, probable or possible or talk about ability, seeking or asking permission, making requests and offers and so on. So. What do we understand by this is that model verbs are your verbs that help you in all these different uh, purposes and expressions like if you want to express your ability or other person's ability of doing something, inability, permission, request and so on. So we will be using these particular model verbs which are a kind of helping verb or auxiliary verb to express the mood of the other verb to see that how things are according to the situation and what words should we be uh, using in order to elaborate our verb. It is as uh, simple as it looks. Now let's look at all these different kind of model verbs mentioned in our student learning outcome along with their example and seeing that what is the function that they hold. So let's talk about the model verb can and could. 
For example, we can fix the problem. We know that can is our modal verb. But what does it say? And what does it say about our main verb? It says that they have an ability of fixing the problem. So the function of using can or could is to show, uh, one of them is to show our ability by using can. Can means that something is possible. On the other hand, if you make it in an interrogative, uh, in a negative sentence, you could say they cannot fix the problem. Now, this model verb is showing us an inability of them that they cannot do it. Next, can I have a cup of tea, please? Now, here you can see that the subject is asking for something and the word please is also added. So, you can see that it is a request. So, the words, the model verbs can and could can follow all these different functions in different sentences. Can I go with you? This is for asking permission. We could meet at the weekend. This is a suggestion or an advice. Can I help you? Now here, somebody is offering help. So we can see that the function is to offer help or invite somebody for something. It could have been Rashid because he is in Swat. So, could over here is used as a doubt because the person who is saying this is not sure about something. So, there is a room for doubt. They couldn't play very well. Could we go home now? I could have studied all night, but I didn't. So, all these are our model verbs showing different functions. Now, moving on to our next model verb, which is may or might. Let's see what the function is. May I go to toilet? Now, may over here functions as asking for permission. If you say, can I go to toilet? It shows your ability. But here we need to ask for permission. So that's why we say, may I go to toilet? I may be able to help you with your homework. Now this may over here, this model verb is used for possibility. Now you can read the, next, uh, the rest of the sentences, the examples by yourself and try to relate them with the given uh, functions. So you can see that in every kind of situation, whether you're asking for permission, showing a doubt, asking for suggestion, offering help, or inviting somebody, you can use these different model verbs according to their situation. Next, we have another model verb, which is should or shall. Now, this shows a suggestion or advice. For example, we should live with friendship and cooperation. Now, this shows that the uh, speaker or writer is, suggest uh, is suggesting to live with friendship and cooperation. Shall I help you with that? This is also about offering or inviting something, somebody. I should be studying, but I'm too tired. Now, this model verb should is showing obligation. It means the person should be studying it is obligatory to pass the exam, but he is too tired. You should never repeat what you have just said. Now, this over here is showing us prohibition that somebody is asking someone to stop from doing a particular thing. You can read the rest of the examples by yourself and you can clearly see that the functions are written over here along with them so you can relate it and see how things are said accordingly when we are using the model verb should or shall. Now, here you can see another model verb, will or would. Will you help me file these papers? Now, this is a request. 
I will help you carry your groceries. This model verb is suggesting an offer. Then we have will or would. I will not share my chips with you. This is a showing a refusal. You will remain without friends. And this will here, which is our model verb, like our helping or auxiliary verb, but it is showing prediction of the future that you will remain without friends. So you can read the, all these different examples and relate them with the functions given over here. Another one is model verb is must. It must be quiet late. So must over here is showing possibility. And you can read all these uh, different uh, examples by yourself and see how we can say things using model verbs whether it's for obligation for a future prediction and so on so all these model verbs have different functions now after learning about all these different model verbs and you saw that how they are used in different situations and how do they function over here you have four uh, sentences you can pause the video, read them, and come up with your answers. Now let's look at the answers to see if you have answered them correctly. So, I cannot finish the project tonight. Yes, this is showing an inability. In this case, you should get up early enough to finish it before going to work. This is a suggestion and an advice. If Mrs. Naveed is not at home, you, you can leave a note in her mailbox. This is also an ability. It's not an obligation, it's not a request, but rather the speaker, the uh, person who is being advised, can leave the mail in the box because he can now he have a free choice if he wants, he or she wants it or not. So we need to be very careful with the functions of different model verbs. Here all the answers are mentioned. You can match your answers with them and see if you have answered them correctly. And if not, you go back to the previous slides, learn about the different functions of model verbs and come back and solve this again. Here is your simulation video that you can watch later on to learn more about model verbs and how do they function in our daily life, whether it's in our speech and in our writing. Okay, so now we have your classroom activity in this one, in this obligation and prohibition activity, you will be using model verbs to make rules for people and staff in a library and students imagine that they have taken over the management of a library and that they are going to decide what rules to have in the library for people and staff. For example, people must keep their voices low so as not to disturb others who are reading. Staff should be available to help guests find books and answer their questions. So you can come up with all these different instructions and rules by following the model verbs correctly in your sentences. After this one, you can uh, easily get your worksheet and solve it to put your ideas, to put your learned concept into practice by solving the worksheet. And for your homework, you have to choose the correct model verbs for each sentences from these uh, multiple answers that are given, you have to uh, place the correct model verb uh, in the sentence. Moving on, another homework is here where you have to use all the learned verbs in your sentences and make interrogative and negative sentences too. So you can address the positive, affirmative, uh, negative and interrogative sentences. All these resources over here are mentioned in your uh, description of the video. You can access them easily and learn more about model verbs and their functions. My dear learners, thank you for listening. I hope that we have covered our students learning outcome by the end of our lesson. We talked about model verbs and we have gone through different model verbs along with their examples and their function. Now you need to memorize the functions and practice them in your speech and writing to make it more efficient and flawless. See you in the next video lesson. Allah Hafiz.